Hey, we're at Big Apple Comic Con. We thought we'd take a look around to find the rarest comic book here at the convention. What is it that makes a comic book rare? The thing that really makes a comic book rare is how easy it is to find and how popular it is. Uh, it could be a it could be a Zorro comic from 1930s, but if nobody wants it, then it's not that rare. Um, Captain America is a big character, and they printed a lot of books, but they also destroyed a lot of books. Right. So it's very sought after, which means it's very rare, and the fact that it's hard to find if somebody wants it. Scarcity, uh, not many in in high grade. It's usually there's not a lot of copies that have survived being handled or stored over the years. CGC census generally notes how scarce something is. It's a lot of different things. Uh, primarily it's going to be condition. Uh, okay. the, the higher the condition of the book, mm -hmm. uh, the, the better the price. In fact, it goes up exponentially with the, with the grade. Uh, but it's also uh, demand for the character. Spider-Man has, has been, as long as I've been doing it, I think it will continue to be the most popular title. It's the most popular character and uh, I think it's, it's really it's the backbone of the hobby. Well, it really just comes down to circulation and how many got saved. I mean, a book like that, those got eaten up in paper drives and, you know, Frederick Wortham's Seduction of the Innocent. I'm sure you've had other dealers tell you about that, but, you know, a lot no, of... No, actually we haven't. All so right. Tell us. Well, Frederick Wortham was a psychiatrist that wanted to ban comic books. And oh, wow. It, he wrote a book called Seduction of the Innocent and uh, it was very influential. There were Senate hearings and uh, a, a lot of these books, right. these, these kind of horror books that mm -hmm. you see behind me, these are really rare because parents would go out and burn them and book drives and that wow. type of thing so that's what it is so very very few survive this is Sean from the CGC why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do well I am a grader at CGC and what we are is we are a third-party authentication and a grading company so what people do is like James here will come over and drop off books and um, like here's the forms right here so these are the books and we grade them on the condition. So he fills out the form, we bring them back with us to Florida where they're graded, they're checked for restoration by a restoration detection expert, and um, they're sent back to the customer. When it comes to grading, it's it's more of a training thing. Okay. Um, when we when I was first hired, uh, I worked with some of the best graders that have been in this, this hobby for a long time, over 30 years, and um, they just taught me how to do it. And still even with the company 11 years, I'm still learning every day. But it's it's definitely, it's, it's a process. And you know, we're a third party, so it's our opinion, it's our professional opinion about the grading. Grades. Grading's a really tough, tough subject with a lot of people because everybody grades differently. Right. So with CGC, it's our opinion. It's our right. opinion as a collective, as a company. When it comes to uh, comic book grading, we're definitely, you know, the opinion. Okay. Um, we're the trusted ones. We built. We're built a lot on reputation. Um, we've come a long way, but we've worked hard to get to where we're at. Right. And uh, we're a trusted grading company. We're a respected grading company. People respect our grading. They trust us with their books because. You know, these are these these are these guys' babies. I right. mean, a lot of these books, and there's a lot of money on the line with a lot of people. And uh, you know, we've built that reputation, and we're proud of it. What is the rarest comic that you have with you? The rarest? Yes. Um, this Wonder Comics number six right here. Uh, it's from uh, 1942 or 43. Uh, very, very tough book. Um, there's probably less than less than a hundred copies known to exist. We have a Captain America number two, uh, Captain America Comics number two from from the 40s. Wow, that's pretty old. That's got the Hitler on it. Yeah, it's got it's definitely Nazi era. Wow, this is some original stuff, guys. Yeah. Uh, Superman Comics number two. Wow, yeah. how much do these go for? Uh, the Captain America Comics is 1800. Okay. And it's a pretty low grade, which means it's not in the most perfect shape. Right. And it's still. 1800. Wow. Yeah. Probably the Batman one. So that's uh, obviously the Batman number one. Uh, you know, $35,000 book. So really nice copy. We actually have a lot of rare comics. Okay. But we have a Silver Street Comics number five, mm -hmm. which is somewhat obscure, but it's a great title. Uh, those are impossible to find. Right. Right now in stock, we have an AF15 uh, BF minus CGC grade for 50000 we have a CGC VF Plus 8.5 for 125000 Oh my gosh. We have a Hulk 181 near mint mint 9.8 for 18000 
We also have an X-Men 1 VF Plus 8.5 for 18,000 also. So we're on the hunt for the rarest comic here at the convention today. We heard you might have it. I have a couple. Wow. I, I, have, I, I have some really rare books, and I have some really rare books that are worth a lot of money. Okay. So I'm going to show you the really rare books that are worth a lot of money. Right here we have the first appearance of Batman. This is the first time Batman was ever in a comic book. This is Detective Comics 27 from May of 1939. Oh my God. It's uh, graded 4.0. And this comic book is worth approximately $300,000. I feel blessed just to look at it. <laughs> well, it gets better. Here is the holy grail of all comic books. Action Comics number one, the oh, first appearance of Superman. My God. And this book came out in June of 1938. It's the first time Superman was in a comic book. This is the comic book in higher grade last year that we sold for a million and $1.5 million. This book will be up for auction on ComicConnect.com this August, early August. And uh, the estimates are somewhere around $350,000.